Brad Clark here again. Just wanted to throw up a real quick video. I got Wesley out here. He's going to be my cameraman today. And uh, so we'll see how this video turns out. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and talk about the, uh, the box. This box was made for uh, methadone bottles, I believe. Uh, my next door neighbor, he's a nurse. And the box is made for methadone bottles. And apparently they're tall and narrow and they spill over easily so they needed a solution uh, to keep them from toppling over. It's a really heavy box. They're not going to go anywhere. Okay, one of the first things I wanted to talk about is uh, I, I used Google SketchUp to draw this, this box out. And it really helps out with, in a lot of ways. Uh, it, it actually reduces your waste. Uh, it helps you lay out your joinery and uh, gives you a good idea of material quantities. Okay, the second thing I wanted to talk about is the box joints that I used and how I set up uh, a stack dado set with just cheapo saw blades and I use my box joint mechanism that I built a few weekends ago. I have another video on that on my channel if you'd like to take a look at it. Okay, so um, what I did uh, using the three blades, it was not quite a quarter of an inch. So what I ended up doing is I made some shims. to get it exactly right. Okay, so the first thing I did was I used these two shims. These are uh, actually two liter Coca-Cola bottles uh, that I cut out and fit in place in between each one. Now, whenever I only had these two shims in there, the joint, the resulting joint was close is really tight. You can zoom in on that a little bit. It's a good joint but it's really tight. When you go to try and put some glue in there it's going to be tough. So I knew I needed just a little extra and that's I went in and I found this really thin piece of plastic and that's from actually a cell phone cover I think. Anyway, doesn't really matter. And so once I did that and redone my test cut, now we have a nice joint that goes together really smooth and easy. And there's no play in it. It's about as good as it's going to get. And that worked out really well. Also wanted to point out one of the drawbacks of this type of dado is it doesn't clean out as well as a $50 set. So sometimes you have wood in the blade. Okay, one of the other things I wanted to talk about was the uh, plywood that I chose to use. Uh, this is a hardwood plywood from Lowe's. It's 11 16 inch thick. At first glance, it looks like it's going to be some pretty good plywood. There's 11 plies total, and uh, they're supposed to be all hardwood. There's a few gaps here and there, but all in all, I thought it would be just fine. The biggest drawback on this plywood is there is a super thin layer of an ear. I mean it's probably around 1 64th of an inch or less. Uh, it doesn't take long to sand through it so all in all I believe this was a poor choice for this particular project and one of the reasons for that is the uh, you can actually see where I sanded through the veneer layer on this box and it really takes away from the, the look. Good thing this is uh, not really something that's going to go on somebody's shelf. It's more of a work item but all in all it was a poor choice plywood for this application. Okay some of the other things I wanted to talk about was like this really bad spot was a actually a void just underneath the veneer. So once I started sanding to, to flush up my box joint this big gaping hole showed up and uh, one of the ways I tried to fix it was uh, making my own wood putty using some really, really super fine 
powder from the my sander and I would just mix that with wood glue and fill it in. Now it's apparently it's not really recommended for large spots because it sure does stand out. But I use that throughout this uh, whole thing to fill any small holes. I had like a maybe a one thirty second gap on one of these miter joints and, and I was able to press that in and it pretty much is hard to really see. One of the other problems that I had is using plywood and box joints really don't go together. I had a big blowout where I lost a big piece of wood on this joint here and I cut a piece of oak and fit it in a little oversized and sanded it all down and that really blended that in really good. So that, that was a good fix for that. So that was Wesley being the cameraman. He done a pretty good job. Apparently uh, he needs to work out a little because the camera started getting heavy to him. <laughs> but other than You're that, right. a pretty good video for YouTube, I think. That's going to do it for this one. So be sure and subscribe and check my website for updates. See you guys next time.